your your boy your what color is his dreads? Multicolored. Is this multicolored? They're multicolored. I don't know anymore, dog. They all have these different colors. I guess you gotta like point them out by their colors. <laughs> Like, oh, pink dreads is so-and-so. Green dreads is so-and-so. That's him. Yeah. That's this. That's Red dreads is Yachty. Um, Yo, your pink dreads is Pump. Your boy... <laughs> your boy Famous Dex... Everyone is doing it. Uh, ...has released his uh, new mixtape. Uh, read about it. And... Um, what, were you, what were your initial... I guess your initial... Uh, reactions to the first time listening to... <laughs> it's multicolored. You're right. Multicolored dread. Yeah, right. right. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, well, let, let me let me just say this, okay? So when I heard the mixtape and I listened to the intro, I was like, "All right, finally, yes, a young boy, a just young boy in the history of that hip-hop. understands hip hop, that understands there is people that came before, before him. them." Straight. That made it possible for him to do what? Yes, high hopes. Finally, we get somebody that is, is appreciating like it that. and is putting it out there and like telling everyone, "You need to do this. You need to appreciate." Right. You know, old and, school. And then the second song, the next, the actual first song comes on, and I go, "What the fuck? Fuck is- just happened? <laughs> the f- <laughs> the? F- Did you not hear your own intro? Right." right. Uh, oh. My first listen to it was oh my, my my initial reaction to it was, <laughs> fam, this is this is horrible. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, this this shouldn't have been put out. Like I felt Ooh. like this. Uh, I really felt like these are harsh words. I don't care. Yeah. I felt like this was recorded in a closet 10, 15 years ago by an artist that had no chance of fucking making it. Damn. <laughs> I, Yo, I, that's how I felt when I, I gotta was put to... explosions in here, dog. Like, damn, do it, bro. Damn. That's like the quality was not good. Right. Like hearing it, I'm like, this does not even. I was very disappointed. Yeah, you know and what? The the production wasn't even that good. Okay, let's let's uh, let's let's get into. I mean, what do you what do you know upsetting. about? What, what do you know about Famous Dex? I know that I, I know I heard him on. The next album we review, I heard him on there. He was on that. What about the um and the, I was thinking, the, what was it? Um Rich Forever three or something? And it had Jay Critch, uh Rich the Kid and Famous Dex. Remember I had the kind of like yeah. chill vibes? Yeah. And we reviewed that. A lot better than this. That was a lot better than this. A lot way better. better. Yes. You know what I'm saying? And you were sitting on that. I was sitting, exactly. <laughs> exactly. I shit on that and I'm over here saying it was a lot better right, than right, this. Right, right. This was disappointing. Like, I heard the next album we're going to review, I heard that first. Right. Same with me. And I thought when I heard the feature with Famous Dex that I was like, hmm, I guess this next, you know, this next review ain't going to be that bad. Right. Yeah. What was I wrong? Well, I should have heard it the other way around. So what I know, so from, I could have been like, "Oh, he redeemed himself on this 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 feature." <laughs> right, right. What I know from Famous Slightly. Dex is he's he's kind of the, uh, you know, like I know a lot of young people like him. I was talking to a twelve year old, uh, one of my friends, her son or whatever, and I was kind of like just checking the temperature, what he thought was dope, what, you know what I'm saying? And his favorite rapper was Famous Dex. We're old, and I was just and so. <laughs> When I, I remember that, I went to go listen to one of his mixtapes after that just to kind of see, and I wasn't really. I liked the beats that were on it, but I wasn't really into the famous decks. Uh, and then I heard the one they did with Rich Forever. Yeah. And it, that wasn't bad. It was, I mean, it wasn't bad to me. Yeah. Compared to some of the shit I've, I've heard. Yeah. It was actually pretty decent. Uh, I liked the vibes that it gave off. And then I hear, and I'm expecting maybe this is going to have the good vibes on here. Nah, man. It just, it what just did. The production. Production wise, there were uh, there were some a few. There's a few, maybe that like were, three or four that, that, tracks that were like that still okay. Happens. I like the beat. Yeah. You know what I'm saying that that I still and it, to me those that you're probably speaking of were the same ones that I'm thinking of. And it's like even to me those needed a little bit more. Right. Like they still weren't. The, to me, there was there wasn't a tip top beat. His last beat was probably the best beat to me. Well, there was a beat on there where like it comes in and it's and it's really dope, and then he gets on it, and I'm like, no, that's 
That's not how you do it. That's not how you do beat. it. That's not the right thing for this beat. Yeah. You well, know what I'm saying? Well, see, I think the last beat, I think, was produced by the same guy who did the, the first beat. Right. And that's why I kind of, that last beat, I got, there was a, I forgot how the tone went, but there was a part of it that was, I've heard it from an old school beat. Right. So it like was, to me, it was like, ah, you got something right. You actually literally finally brought something from the old school, kind of right. like how your intro was kind of making a scene. Right. You did it, but it's the outro, and it's still not up to par to me, like the beat completely. Oh, it just it used it. it. It was disappointing. That, that, really that, was. that intro was misleading as fuck. Completely. Completely, Completely. Bro. You know what I'm saying? You hear what? that, you think, like you say, finally someone understands from the new, from the new <laughs> age, you know, from, the, from the young one. No. No, not no. at all. What, what did you think about, how would you describe the, the theme of this, of this, of this project? The you theme? Yeah, the theme. Low budget. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's better than what I was going to say. I was going to say there was, that I didn't feel like there was a theme. No. I don't feel like there was anything. <laughs> yeah, it really didn't have there. To me, I was trying to like figure out like, okay, what is he saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Nothing. And there was just nothing. You know what I mean? There was nothing there. And, uh, like said, for somebody to be needed. like, for somebody to be like, yo, respect the people that came before because they they paved the way. And it's like, all right, you're talking about artists that they always said something. Even the ones that didn't seem like they were saying something, they were saying something. You know what I'm saying? And then you come and you just like, I ain't saying shit. I ain't saying shit after I pay homage to the old school, right? You know, and then and then I don't do shit about it, right? You know, it's so, almost it's misleading and it's disrespectful, right? Because you 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 use the old, you know that that intro you use it like. You're paying respect. Oh, you need to. And then all heads will hear that and think, hey, like us. Right. Like people who are older. It's a chick. And then, yeah. And then it's <laughs> Abracadabra. No. Done. Yeah. Like, all of a sudden, you're like, the fuck just happened to this album? Yeah. Is this the same? Yeah. Is this the same album? Same Did one? I actually go to the... Is this my switch intro? It? Did I switch on? No. Yeah. It's the same shit. Uh, Disappointed. So, I guess you just wasn't feeling the lyrics. Not at, at all. At all. I Weak. wasn't feeling that. I wasn't feeling it at all. Weak. 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 Uh, I mean, weak. Dead. Um, <laughs> I wasn't gonna ask like which tracks you, <laughs> which tracks you thought were lacking, but I kind of my answer to that was all of them. One through eleven. <laughs> no, no, no. That two through eleven. Yeah, there was there was one track <laughs> in there that wasn't that bad. There was like one track, probably I can't remember the name of it. It was right in the middle. No, and it wasn't that bad. I was like, okay, this kind of reminds me of the Rich Forever vibe. I think I had Rich the Kid on there. You know what I'm saying? It was it kind of sounded like a throwaway from the Rich Forever. Yeah, yeah. I feel you know it. what I'm saying? Yeah, it so it wasn't that bad. You know what I mean? Because I yeah. like Rich the Kid, uh, but for that's the probably, most, that's probably the best song on there. Yeah, yeah. I think it for was. Real. Yeah. No, uh, looking at this track list right now. Yeah. What, that, that what do you give this on a scale of uh, of one to ten? Give it a two. A two. Yeah. Well, you know what? We deuced it up because I gave it a fucking two too. I gave it a you two. Know what I'm saying, and the only reason I gave it a two is because the intro. Yeah. The one. intro and that, and then there was a slight sample of the of old school. Some beat of on the, the last. beats weren't that bad, you know what yeah, I'm saying? The, yeah, yeah, exactly. So you can't shit on the the, the pro- oh, production man. completely. Listen, so. famous Dex, if you're listening, man, you got I to, hope. bro, you got to, you got to, you got to step that up, man. And don't you take even, the Eminem approach and be yeah. be mad at us. <laughs> be mad at yourself. Like, I don't even care about the mumble bro. rap shit that much. That shit doesn't bother me. But it like, me, you, but you got to like fuck. at least ride the beat, my G. We felt like you, know you were off beat at times, like all the way off beat. And yeah. I know sometimes it's like, let's just do it. We don't give a fuck. You trying to be different? I get that. You know, I get that. Like you want to be different, but the that. only reason you want to be different so much though is because you already sound just like everybody else. Because everybody has that same style. Yeah. So how do you switch it up? This is not the way to switch it up, bro. Nah. Is to <laughs> go all off beat because it just it just isn't it isn't pleasant to the ears. Not at all. You know what I'm saying? It just isn't. So. It, it. Yeah, I, I feel like I feel like how uh like uh fucking uh needle drop rated Eminem's album. Yeah. Okay, light that's two, how light two. Light two, baby. Light two. <laughs> and 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 don't ever come out with an intro that is that misleading. Ever that again. was the one of the most misleading intros I ever heard in my fucking life. Yeah, straight up. All right. I, but I'm not knocking the boy in this house to keep getting your money. Nah, keep getting you your money, keep doing what you but do. Please but step it up. If you please. believe if you believe in the in the old school the way that you do, you know what I'm saying? Don't. And that they paved the way. Okay? Don't shit on it. Yeah. Because you shit yeah. it on it by putting that as an intro and then you shit it on it yeah. by the rest of the album. 
Y'all need an old head. In, y'all need old. Just listen. You know, we were talking Man. about Eminem needs not to have yes men. These young guys need just like an old head just in there just kind of like, yo, yo, do it like Hold this. Hold up. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, nah, nah. That's not right. Just do it like yeah, this. Yeah. Just, just for, the, for those those tips of, all right, that ain't going to work. Right. Trust me. Right. I'm speaking for the old heads that you're trying to even get on on board. Right. Not just the young. You're trying to get the. Not necessarily. Young heads like. Old, young heads like. This is like young heads that don't, don't like this nigga famous Dex either. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They just don't. It's mm-hmm. probably the same reason. It's probably like, what is what's going Man. on? Listen, listen, Soft beat. I, I think Lil Yachty will put out a better project than this. I thought Lil Yachty was the worst. Yeah, I did too. You know what I'm saying? I've never rated an album as low as I just did, I don't think. think Bro, the last low album that, we were, that I rated was, like was French Montana, and I gave him a three. A three, that's right. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And I actually gave him an all right score on that you one. Didn't give him like five or, or something, right? Yeah. yeah. Maybe a like seven? Shit, I can't even remember. Yeah, something like that. Something like that, but yeah. yeah. But yeah, man, you got to set it up, Dex. We agree on this one. Come on, man. Straight up.